Welcome back, family. You've been divinely led to this moment to receive a message specifically crafted for God's people today. I'm here to address someone who's grappling with unease in their relationships. This could be in a romantic context, within your family dynamics, or even among your circle of friends. In this season of your life, you might find yourself navigating a variety of relationships, each with its unique dynamics and emotional challenges. Among them, there's one particular relationship that stands out, leaving you with an unsettling lack of peace. Whether in the person's presence or merely contemplating the connection, there's an inexplicable sense of discomfort that you can't seem to shake off. Despite the absence of concrete evidence or specific incidents to justify these feelings, the intuitive whisper within you signals that something is amiss. This vague, yet persistent, unease gnaws at you, making it difficult to find tranquility and clarity in the relationship. As you grapple with these emotions, you may find yourself questioning the underlying reasons and seeking a deeper understanding of what might be contributing to this disquiet. I'm here to affirm that intuition you're feeling, that discernment bubbling up within you, is there for a reason. Trust it. You're not wrong in your assessment of these individuals. This message is a divine directive to take steps to protect yourself. Your instincts are alerting you for a reason. You might find yourself wrestling with thoughts about a particular person or a group of people you've been associating with recently. The reason you're caught in this mental tug of war is because of a deep-seated feeling that these individuals may not be the best influence on you. You're feeling this way because, at some level, your spirit recognizes that these relationships aren't beneficial for you. This inner conflict is your spirit's way of signaling that it's time to take a closer look at the people around you and reevaluate their impact on your life. You may not have all the tangible evidence, but your inner wisdom is urging you to listen and act. It's crucial to honor these feelings and take proactive steps to safeguard your well-being. Whether it means creating some distance, setting firm boundaries, or even letting go of certain connections, trust that this discernment is a gift meant to guide you towards healthier, more supportive relationships. They might not have shown you clear reasons yet. Maybe they have, and you're sitting there wondering, man, God, why do you let these folks into my life? Why am I feeling this way, drawn to people who just aren't good for me? Or perhaps the reasons haven't become clear yet, and you find yourself saying, I just don't feel at ease, but I can't pinpoint why. There's no solid evidence that explains why you feel off after spending time with these people. It's unsettling the way your spirit feels disrupted after being around this person or these people. This disruption is not something to be ignored or dismissed. It's a sign that your inner self is picking up on something that your conscious mind has yet to identify. You might be questioning why these individuals are in your life and what purpose they serve, but these feelings of unease are a call to action. They are urging you to pay attention, to trust your intuition, and to seek clarity. Your spirit is nudging you to take a closer look, to protect your peace, and to ensure that the people you allow into your life are those who support and uplift you. Trust that these feelings are there for a reason, guiding you to make decisions that align with your highest good. Despite this, you find yourself making excuses for them. You're dismissing the warning signs, comparing them to past relationships or old friendships that were overtly toxic, telling yourself, well, it's not as bad as before, or they're not as harmful as others I've known. You're rationalizing, trying to convince yourself that it's okay to keep hanging out with this group, even though deep down your gut is screaming for you to keep your distance. Their hearts aren't clean. Their intentions towards you aren't pure. And here you are, wrestling with your thoughts, questioning, is this just my trauma talking? Am I overreacting because of my past? Because I'm afraid of getting hurt again? But understand this. What you're feeling isn't just fear or trauma responses. It's genuine discernment, a critical inner voice cautioning you. Yet, you find yourself justifying their actions. You downplay the warning signs, comparing these new relationships to past ones that were blatantly toxic, thinking, 
It's not as bad as before, or they're not as harmful as others I've known. This rationalization helps you convince yourself it's okay to continue associating with this group, despite your gut instinct telling you otherwise. Their hearts aren't clean, their intentions towards you aren't pure. This leaves you struggling with your thoughts, wondering, is this just my trauma talking? Am I overreacting because of my past experiences and fear of getting hurt again? But what you're feeling isn't merely a reaction to past trauma. It's genuine discernment, a crucial inner voice cautioning you to heed its warnings. Your deep longing for companionship is guiding you with discernment and navigating your interactions cautiously. This isn't due to oversensitivity or past scars, but rather because you're attuned to a profound truth about relationships. Your intuition is a powerful tool, alerting you to potential dangers before they fully manifest, steering you towards healthier, more fulfilling connections that align with your soul's needs. You might be emerging from a season of solitude, finding a renewed appreciation for a particular group of friends or a specific relationship. Perhaps you've been single for a while or have felt more alone than you'd like, leading you to make excuses despite the nagging feelings of caution about these individuals. This deep craving for companionship drives you to seek the company of others, to feel loved, appreciated, and valued. The comfort you find in the presence of these individuals stems from their verbal expressions of love, care, and cherishment towards you. Yet, your inner guidance urges you to be mindful and discerning, ensuring that these connections genuinely resonate with your deepest needs and desires. Deep down, God sees the true nature of people's hearts and understands their intentions, even when they are hidden from you. Right now, you are wrestling internally your mind oscillating as you try to justify your relationships with them. You keep telling yourself, this is fine. I don't understand why I feel uneasy. These people haven't given me a concrete reason to cut ties or distance myself. Now, you're on the verge of deciding to go your own way, driven by a profound need for love, friendship, and a sense of belonging. Yet, there's a reason your spirit feels restless within this relationship. A reason you might not fully comprehend, but God does. God sees beyond the surface, recognizing what's not apparent to the human eye. If you're feeling unease that won't settle, it's worth paying attention to. It's not about what people say. They might speak of love and support, but what God knows about their hearts and the eventual impact they'll have on your spiritual and emotional well-being. So while you may not know why you can't find peace in this relationship, Trust that God does. He's steering you towards what's genuinely best for you. Every time you part ways with these folks, when you head back home, you're left feeling unsettled. You find yourself thinking, man, something's not right. My energy is thrown off. My spirit feels rattled. You can't quite pin down why you're left feeling this way, but you're also not fully listening to that inner voice, that sharp sense of discernment that's trying to guide you. God has placed this unease in your heart for a reason, to shield you and signal a warning about these individuals. Perhaps continuing to engage with this group, frequenting these places, or maintaining these connections might gradually pull you away from your spiritual path or lead you into situations that aren't aligned with your faith. God is fully aware of what's going on, even the conversations about you that you're not privy to. He's omnipresent. He hears, he sees, and he understands the full scope of what's happening around you. The lack of peace you're experiencing is a deliberate alert from the divine, designed to catch your attention. The confusion you feel about this situation points to a deeper issue at play. We recognize who the author of confusion is, the enemy who thrives on creating chaos and discord. Your discomfort and the intense discernment you're experiencing are heightened because this confusion isn't just happenstance. It's orchestrated to distract and disorient you. This is why it's crucial to pay attention to these feelings of unrest and disturbance in your spirit. They're not random. They're indicative of a battle between clarity and confusion, between peace and upheaval. 
Recognize that these signals are not to be ignored, but understood as divine guidance. The enemy might be the author of confusion, but God is the giver of peace and clarity. Lean into that divine wisdom and allow it to navigate you through the complexities of these relationships and situations. All right, let's break it down real simple. We all get that following the guidance of the Holy Spirit trumps making sacrifices that don't align with divine wisdom. It's way better for you to pay attention to those spiritual nudges than to find yourself on the wrong side of obedience. I'm not sure exactly who needs to hear this, but I'm praying this message hits home. It's meant to shed some light on your situation and to empower you with the knowledge that stepping back and creating some space is all about shielding yourself. If God is pulling something out of your grip, believe that He's clearing the path for something far greater. Trust that He's got plans to fulfill your deepest desires, be it friends, family, or relationships, right in His perfect timing. Maybe He's still smoothing out some edges in you. Maybe he's sculpting your heart or mindset. Just remember, while God is crafting your readiness, the enemy is busy too, trying to throw knockoffs your way. He's got those counterfeit blessings lined up, whether that's friends or romantic interests. And you know, sometimes even your own family might not be rooting for you. It's a tough pill to swallow, but the truth is not all family ties are beneficial. The scriptures warn us our foes can sometimes share our own dinner table. So in the spiritual battlefield, it's clear. When you're on the verge of stepping into your due blessings, your destined relationships, your kingdom marriage, the enemy gets antsy. He starts tossing in these fakes, distractions, all these folks who are meant to throw you off course because he sure doesn't want to see you thrive. So I hope this message finds the one it's meant for and that it brings you some comfort and courage. It's a reminder that you've got the strength to stand firm on your own two feet. Remember, God is always with you, guiding and supporting you every step of the way. Stay strong, keep pushing, and don't let the enemy's tricks deter you from your divine path. Take care. Imagine you are in the midst of a powerful storm with the wind howling around you. Yet in your heart, there is an unshakable peace. This is the essence of a Holy Spirit awakening, a profound journey into the heart of God's power and our spiritual potential. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a powerful prayer with. So, watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. The book of Acts 2 verses 1 to 17 vividly describes this awakening. And it shall come to pass in the last days, says God, that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. This is not just a promise, but an invitation to experience a reality beyond our imagination, where the Holy Spirit is not just a concept, but a vibrant, living presence in our lives. You might wonder what it means to experience a Holy Spirit awakening. It's like emerging into a new dawn after a long night, an opening of the eyes not just in our heads but in our hearts. It's realizing that God's Spirit isn't a distant force but a personal guide, comforter, and empowerer. Think of the disciples before and after Pentecost. Before, they were uncertain, often confused, and fearful. But after receiving the Holy Spirit, they became bold, confident, and unwavering. My friends, their transformation wasn't just personal. It changed the world. This same transformation is available to each one of us today. In this awakening, we find not only strength, but also comfort. Isaiah 61 verse 1 reminds us that the Spirit of the Lord God is upon us, anointing us to bring good news to the poor to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives. This is no small mission. It's a divine mandate to be agents of healing and hope in a hurting world. But how do we start? It begins with a simple yet profound step, inviting the Holy Spirit into our lives. It's about opening our hearts and saying, Here I am, Lord. Fill me. Use me. It's a prayer of surrender a willingness to be led and transformed. 
The Holy Spirit awakening is also about connection. Romans 8 verse 26 tells us that the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses, interceding for us with groanings too deep for words. This connection isn't just about feeling God's presence. It's about allowing the Spirit to guide our thoughts, actions, and decisions. As we walk in this awakening, we discover our true identity. In 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18, we learn that we are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. This transformation is a journey, not a destination. It's a process of becoming more like Christ every day. Through this journey, we also find our purpose. The Holy Spirit not only awakens us to God's power, but also to our own purpose and God's grand design. Just as each part of the body has a unique function, each of us is called to a unique mission in the kingdom of God. So, my friends, as we prepare to pray, let us open our hearts to embark on this incredible journey. Let's invite the Holy Spirit to awaken us to our full potential in Christ. Let's embrace this divine adventure with open hearts and hopeful spirits, ready to be transformed, guided, and used by God in ways beyond our imagination. Let's pray with unwavering faith, knowing that the same Spirit that raised Christ from the dead resides within us, ready to awaken us to a life filled with power, purpose, and passion. Now, to all those hearing my words, let us approach the Lord in prayer. I invite you to join me in this prayer, so you can receive all the blessings it offers. You can also listen to this prayer daily to strengthen your faith and align with its message. Let us now pray to our gracious and loving God, Heavenly Father, majestic and sacred. Your presence fills both the heavens and the earth with songs of praise. I exalt your name, praising you for your boundless mercy and eternal grandeur. Your splendor outshines the sun, and your love encompasses the deepest depths of the ocean. I offer you gratitude, O Lord, for the countless blessings you have bestowed upon me. Your grace is the steadfast anchor of my life, and your mercy walks beside me always. I am thankful for your faithfulness, even when I stumble. Please forgive me, Lord, for my mistakes and shortcomings. Purify my heart and revive my soul. I also extend forgiveness to those who have wronged me, releasing any bitterness and embracing your compassionate love. I am grateful for the Holy Spirit, our source of comfort and guidance. Lord, as I embark on this new day, I welcome your Holy Spirit to fill me anew. May your Spirit shape me, allowing me to mirror your love and grace through every deed and word. Grant me your Spirit's wisdom and discernment, leading me along the path you have laid out for me. Lord, as I embark on this sacred journey of spiritual awakening, I come before you with a humble heart, longing for a deeper communion with your Holy Spirit. May this awakening not be confined to mere intellectual understanding, but penetrate the very essence of my being, body, soul, and spirit. I pray that the presence of your Holy Spirit becomes palpable and real in my life, guiding every step I take and becoming my constant companion in each moment. Let your Spirit's presence envelop me, filling me with a sense of peace, wisdom, and clarity that can only come from you. I yearn for a deeper connection with you, Lord, a heart that is finely attuned to your gentle whisper leading me into a profound understanding of your truths and mysteries. May your Spirit illuminate my path and reveal to me the depths of your love and grace in ways that transcend human comprehension. In this journey of awakening, I surrender myself completely to you, trusting that you will lead me into a deeper intimacy with you. May your Spirit work within me, transforming me into a vessel of your love and light, bringing glory to your name now and forevermore. In this awakening, O Lord, I earnestly beseech you to break every chain of doubt, fear, and complacency that binds me, liberating me to fully embrace the abundant life you have promised to your children. 
May this awakening not be a fleeting moment of inspiration, but a continuous and overflowing outpouring of your Holy Spirit, shaping me day by day into a genuine reflection of your divine likeness. Grant me, through the indwelling power of your Spirit, the strength to live a life characterized by power, purpose, and passion. Fill me with boldness, O Lord, that I may fearlessly proclaim your word and love to a world in need. Let your Spirit be my steadfast anchor, enabling me to stand firm in faith even amidst the darkest of storms. And may your light shine brightly through me, illuminating the path of those who are lost and weary. Bless me, O Lord, with the manifold gifts of your Spirit, that I may serve your kingdom with joy and effectiveness according to the unique calling you have placed upon my life. May your Spirit's wisdom guide my steps, your Spirit's discernment sharpen my understanding, and your Spirit's empowerment embolden my witness. In this awakening, O Lord, may your Spirit work tirelessly within me, transforming my heart, renewing my mind, and conforming me ever more to the likeness of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Let your Spirit's presence be the driving force behind every thought, word, and deed, that your name may be glorified and your kingdom advanced through my life. Father, cultivate within me the fruit of your Spirit. Let love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control abound in my life. May these qualities shine through in my interactions, bearing witness to your transformative grace. I pray, Lord, for healing and comfort for those who are brokenhearted or in distress. Use me as an instrument of your healing touch to bring hope and restoration to those in need. Bring unity among your followers, Lord. Bind our hearts together in love and purpose, that we may serve you in harmony and peace. Father, I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your strength to navigate the challenges of life. In a world filled with temptation and deceit, I recognize my need for your unwavering guidance and protection. Strengthen me, O Lord, to resist the alluring traps of sin and to remain steadfast in your truth. As I journey through this life, I am acutely aware of the spiritual battles that rage around me. Yet, I take refuge in the name of Jesus, knowing that his victory over sin and death has granted me authority over every scheme of the enemy. By the power of his name, I boldly declare triumph over every attack, every falsehood, and every stronghold that seeks to undermine your purposes in my life. But Lord, I don't walk this path alone. I lift up my loved ones before you, asking for your divine protection to encompass them as well. Guard us, Lord, from unseen dangers and unforeseen accidents. Keep us safe within the shelter of your wings, and let your peace reign in our hearts and minds. Illuminate our way, O Lord, with the radiant light of your presence. Guide our steps along the path of righteousness, leading us closer to your perfect will for our lives. And as we journey, may your Holy Spirit move powerfully within us, convicting us of sin and transforming us into vessels of your grace and mercy. I also lift up my family and friends to you, Lord, asking for your abundant blessings to be poured out upon them. May your grace surround them, your healing touch restore them, and your protective hand shield them from harm. Lord, as we join together in this prayer, our hearts are filled with gratitude for the privilege of coming before your throne of grace. We acknowledge your presence among us, for you have promised to be near to those who call upon your name. In unity of spirit, we lift our voices in agreement, knowing that you hear our prayers. We are thankful for every humble heart that bows before you in this moment. With one voice, we stand in faith, lifting each other up in prayer. In your mighty name, Lord, we claim victory over every trial and tribulation. We speak healing over every sickness and ailment, knowing that you are the great physician who brings restoration and wholeness. Holy Spirit, we invite your presence to guide us, to fill us, 
and to use us for your glory. We ask for a fresh outpouring of your Spirit upon our lives, that we may walk in your power and love, bearing witness to your goodness and grace. Lord, we exalt your holy name, for yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering our prayers. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.